In this video, I am going to show you how to create this nice and simple social media lower third animation inside of After Effects. And I am also going to show you how to render this animation in a video format with transparent background so that you can use this animation in your project by simply drag and drop. Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and let's start by creating a new composition. So just go to this composition, take a new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 60 frames per second. Duration make it 5 seconds long. Hit OK. And now let's create a rectangular shape. So select this rectangle tool, click on this field, set it to solid color and pick this pure white color click on this stroke set it to none and let's create a rectangular shape just like that and i'm going to set this anchor point in the center of this rectangular shape so select this pan behind tool select this layer and just drag this anchor point in the center of this rectangular shape make sure your snapping is turned on and after that i'm going to align this shape into the center of this frame so select this layer go to align if you can't see this align then go to window and check this option align and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically open this uh, rectangle one open this rectangle path one and here we have width and height so click on this button and unlink this width and height and i'm going to set this width value something around 900 height value 150 maybe all right close this uh, rectangle open this transform and here we have skew so I'm going to set this value 35 and make it like this and close this layer right click on that click on rename and I'm going to call it shape one and now let's create a duplicate of this shape so hit ctrl d to duplicate select this second copy select this rectangle tool and let's pick a different color you can pick any color that you want it doesn't really matter and after that open this second layer open this content open this rectangle one open this rectangle path one and here we have width and height so for this one i'm going to set this width value 200 maybe and close this layer select this layer hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and i'm going to set this scale value 110 percent and close this layer hold control and scroll up to zoom in and after that we have to import a social media logo so just go to this project window right click on that go to import file and select a social media logo so in this case i'm using this instagram so you can download these assets from the link in the description and uh, once you have downloaded just select this instagram logo click on import and after that we have to create a separate composition for the logo according to this instagram logo size so what we have to do just drag this instagram logo on this icon and we get this new instagram composition where we can drag our social media logo and uh, right click on this instagram composition click on rename and i'm going to call it logo and just go to this main composition and drag this logo into this main composition hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property let's scale it down a bit and i'm going to set this scale value 30 percent and hold shift on the keyboard hit r to open this rotation also and uh, i'm going to animate this scale and rotation both so just go to on one second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property click on this stopwatch button also to create a keyframe on rotation and then go to very first frame of this animation and i'm going to set this rotation value negative 90 degree and set this uh, scale value zero percent and as you can see we have a linear animation so i'm going to make this animation smooth so select these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and check this edit a speed graph and select this point drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve close this graph editor and close this logo and go to very first frame of this animation and let's play this and now we have a smooth animation as you can see and after that select the shape layer 2 and let me tell you if you are using a unicolor logo like facebook or twitter then you have to change the color from here 
but in this case i am using instagram logo which is a multicolor logo so we have to create a multicolor theme for this uh, instagram logo so just select this shape layer 2 and let's apply a effect gradient ramp so just go to this uh, effect and preset and search for gradient ramp so this is our gradient ramp effect let's apply this on shape layer 2 and just go to this effect control and here we have a start of ramp and end of ramp so i'm going to set this a start point over here end point over here and let's select instagram theme color so select this a start color something like this and end color like this and now we have an instagram theme as you can see and after that select this shape layer 2 and this logo comp and right click on that click on pre-compose and i'm going to call it logo animation check this option move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and just go to on one and a half second hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and here we have x and y position so i'm going to set this x position over here maybe so set this value in round figure 1310 and uh, click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to three and a half second over here and just drag this shape right over here and set this value something around 680 and now we have a linear animation so i'm going to make it smoother so select this keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them go to your graph editor select this point drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve close this graph editor close this layer and now we have a nice and a smooth animation as you can see all right and after that i'm going to animate this white section also so just go to on three second over here open this shape layer one and open this transform and here we have new scale parameter so click on this button and unlink this width and height and now let's animate this width value so as you can see it's a scaling from the center of this shape but i want to animate this shape from right to left so what we have to do just select this layer select this transform and let's change this point over here so select this pan behind tool select this anchor point and drag it over here like this and then click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to on one second right over here and i'm going to set this value something around 22 and we have a linear animation so select these both keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard open this graph editor select these Point, drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve and then close this graph editor close this layer and go to very first frame of this animation and let's have a look all right so it's looking much more interesting as you can see and after that i'm going to create a stroke animation so select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate and just select this bottom layer right click on that click on rename and call it a stroke Hit U on the keyboard to open this active keyframe and we have to remove this animation from this stroke layer. So click on this button and turn off this animation and close this layer, open it again and close this transform. Click on this add button and add an effect trim path. Open this trim path and select this layer. Click on this isolate button and select this rectangle tool and here click on this field set it to none click on this stroke set it to solid color pick this pure white color and set this stroke thickness to pixel maybe and after that set this end value something around 55 and uh, i'm going to change this offset to negative 5 degree and as you can see we get this type of uh, stroke and now let's animate it so just go to on for second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on end property and just go to on one second and uh, set this value zero and now we have a stroke animation like this and uh, select these keyframe 
hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them. Go to your graph editor, select this point and just drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve. Close this graph editor, close this layer. All right. And go to the very first frame of this animation. Unsolo this, select this stroke, hold shift and place it over here maybe like this and after that we have an animation which is looking like this all right and now let's add our text over here so select this text tool go to this character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this century gothic set it to bold and i'm going to set this uh, font size 45 pixel and click over here and type follow on Instagram and let's type your URL also and after that select this second line and let's down the size a bit so I'm gonna set this value 35 pixel and uh, select this text layer select this move tool and uh, just placed it over here maybe like this and now i want to reveal this text with this uh, instagram logo so what we have to do we have to use a matte layer so for the matte layer i'm going to use this shape layer 2 hit ctrl d to duplicate right click on that click on rename and call it matte and just drag this matte layer over on this text layer and uh, select this text and just go to this track mat if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switches and change this track mat to alpha mat and now let's adjust the timing of this mat layer so select this mat layer hit u on the keyboard to open these active keyframes and let's move these keyframe half a second forward in time so select this keyframe and just go to one and a half second just drag this keyframe over here all right and now the text is revealing with the shape layer but there's a problem over here so just go to on this first keyframe and change this scale value so change this width value something around 10 and now it's looking perfect and i'm going to place this text below this uh, instagram shape layer so select these both layer drag it below this logo animation like this and now let's add one more effect so select this logo animation layer go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow so this is our drop shadow effect let's apply this on logo animation and just go to this effect control and let's do some setting so i'm going to set this opacity 20 percent distance 5 and softness something around 10 and now it's looking much more interesting as you can see and after that i'm going to animate the starting so we have to take a new null object so just go to layer new and take a new null object and right click on that click on rename and this is going to be our transform so let's call it transform and uh, select this transform select this pan behind tool and change this anchor point in the center of this and go to the end of this animation select all these bottom layers pick this pick whip and attach this with transform and select this transform and uh, go to on half a second hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's animate the size so click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property go to very first frame of this animation set this scale value zero and select these both keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard go to your graph editor and select this point drag it like this and create a nice smooth curve close this graph editor close this layer all right so this is our animation in and let's create animation out so just go to this composition take a new composition and this is our final composition so let's call it final and for this one i'm going to set this duration 10 second long hit ok and in this uh, final composition just drag this main composition into it and right click on this main composition click on rename and call it animation in 
and let's create a duplicate of this animation so hit ctrl d to duplicate right click on that call it animation out and just drag this animation out like this and right click on this second layer go to time and click on this time reverse layer all right and now we have animation in and animation out also and now i want to show you guys how you can customize this instagram lower third into facebook or anything else so just go to this main composition and open this logo animation open this logo and let's import another logo so right click on that go to import file and in this case i'm using this uh, facebook let's import it and drag this facebook logo into this uh, logo composition and let's scale it down a bit so hit s on the keyboard and fit this logo according to this composition just like that and then go to your main composition and we have to change the color also so just go to this logo animation select this second shape layer go to effect control and as you can see this is an unique color logo so we have to turn off this gradient ramp effect and just go to this field and pick this facebook blue color hit ok and then go to your main composition and here we have to change the text so select this text select this text tool and for this time let's change this text to like on facebook and as you can see we have a lower third animation for facebook so hit ctrl z to go back And now I want to show you how to render this animation with the transparent background like this. So just go to file, go to export, click on this add to render queue. And inside of this render queue, we have to select a location. So click over here and select a location. So I'm going to select desktop, Facebook folder, and let's type a name. So I'm going to call it Instagram. click on save and click on this lossless and here we have to change our format first so just select this quicktime quicktime player should be installed on your pc and uh, inside of this video output change this rgb to rgb plus alpha for transparent video export and uh, turn off this audio actually and hit ok and click on render close this render queue and now let's check the output so hit ctrl h to save this project let's take a new project and let's import a video clip and the instagram lower third so just go to import file and here i'm going to import this video clip and our instagram lower third click on import and just drag this clip first click on fit and as you can see we have a video clip like this and let's import our instagram logo into this composition so just drag this instagram lower third into it and change the size and position of this lower third so hit s on the keyboard and let's down the size a bit or you can place anywhere in the frame like this all right and now it's done so just go to very first frame of this animation go to full screen and let's take a look Alright, so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and also hit the like button if you like this video and I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.